Hello, I'm Sammy. We're reading letters this week. And this letter is from a little girl called Jessie. And she says, Dear Sammy, This week I saw a lot of people crying on the news and then my mummy turned the TV off and now I'm scared. What happened? Well, Jessie, that's a very good question. Now, I could tell you that nothing happened and, and everything's totally fine, but that wouldn't be the truth. The truth is a very bad person did a very bad thing and a lot of very good people died. And that was scary. And your mum was probably scared that you'd get scared and that's why she turned the TV on. And you probably got scared she'd never turn the TV back on. So why do grown-ups do scary things? Well, Jesse, I'm a grown-up and I have no idea. But I think sometimes it's because they're scared. Scared of people who look different or speak differently or go to a different place to pray. And sometimes they get so scared that they get angry and then they blame the people they're scared of for making them feel scared in the first place. It's a bit like being scared of the dark. You know, it's only scary because you don't know what's there. So you start imagining things like monsters in the cupboard or monsters under the bed. And that can feel so scary that you start to believe the monsters are real. So what do you do then? Well, you just have to be brave, and reach out and turn on the light. Because when we do that, we see there was no reason to be scared in the first place. But Jesse, some people never turn the light on. They actually prefer being scared and they prefer scaring other people as well because it helps them feel safe, or helps them get into power or helps them sell newspapers. And sometimes people get so scared that when they listen to those leaders or read those newspapers, they turn into real monsters. And real monsters do horrible things. But here's the good news. Jesse, you don't have to be scared. You can choose to be brave instead. And that won't always be easy. Because when you grow up, people are going to try to scare you. And they're going to tell you things that aren't true. And sometimes it might feel like everyone around you is scared and people keep turning the lights off because it's way easier to scare people by keeping them in the dark. But we can be smarter than that. Because Jesse, we know that we can always turn the lights on. And when the lights are on, those monsters have nowhere to hide. So maybe the real question isn't what happened, but what happens now? And that's up to all of us. Thank you for your letter, Jesse. I'll see you next week.